if you're not using AI, you're missing out. And it's not as complicated as it sounds. I believe that everyone can benefit from tools like ChatGPT, including Scrum Masters and Agile teams. In this video, I want to show a few examples to give you some inspiration. Hey, it's Daria here. Welcome. Let's use some AI to help us build awesome teams and also help us improve continuously. I used the help of ChatGPT with my research on flexible office space, a video that should be coming up soon. So I thought I should expand on this topic a bit and show you how you can use this tool to facilitate your work and minimize the time spent on tedious tasks. So here are the use cases I want to go over. One, facilitating research and continuous learning. Two, creating quick summaries from big chunks of information. Three, facilitating tough conversations. Four, preparing outlines. And five, analyzing the data. Well, let's get started. The first use case is research. There is no agility without continuous improvement. And one of the things that helps Scrum Masters to stay on top of it is continuous learning. The best Agile professionals I worked with were constantly looking for new approaches, new techniques, and new tools to use. I often mention research as an important task a Scrum Master should perform on a regular basis. ChatGPT can be of great help in this regard. Instead of you looking through dozens of pages trying to find something relevant, you can just ask the AI to give you some ideas. For example, I asked ChatGPT this. Our sprint retrospectives became stale. What techniques and tools can we use to make them more engaging? And it gave me some great ideas that I should consider, like changing up the format. If you've been doing the same format for your retrospective for a while, it may be time to mix things up. Try a different format, such as fishbowl discussion and round-robin format, or a speedboat exercise. Interesting exercises examples, I think I'm gonna go and look into those as well. Another suggestion that it had, play games. Games can be a fun way to liven up your retrospectives and get everyone involved. For example, you could play Rose, Thorn, Bud, or Start, Stop, Continue. Sounds interesting. I want to look into those as well. The other suggestion was to use visual aids. It says visual aids such as charts, graphs, and diagrams can help you illustrate your points and make your retrospectives more engaging. And then the last suggestion it had, bring in an outside facilitator. Well, this is something that we actually used to do quite often with our teams of Scrum Masters when we would switch teams around during the retrospectives and for other facilitation because it actually worked. So clearly that chat GPT gave me some really good ideas I can definitely use. Then I asked chat GPT to give me an idea for an icebreaker I can use with a remote team and it suggested the true truths and a lie exercise and gave me steps on how to run it. I then asked what other questions I can ask during a retrospective apart from what went well, what didn't go well, and what can we improve. And it gave me a list of 10 question variations I can use. Will it always give you great ideas? Of course not, but it can definitely save you a lot of time. What other questions can you ask to help you? Share in the comments below. Things that I tried were some of the questions that I might ask a Scrum Master in an interview or even some of the tools that I can use for product backlog management. The second use case I want to cover here is creating a summary out of a long list of items, like a long meeting minutes, for example. This can be quite useful in a few scenarios. One that I immediately found is summarizing key points of several retrospectives. Okay, I know I'm talking a lot about retros in this video, but it seems like a very relevant and easy to use example. Anyway, I took a long list of discussion points from several retrospectives I run with a team and asked ChatGPT to summarize the key strengths and the weaknesses of this team. And it did a pretty good job. I was actually impressed. 
Another immediate use case that comes to mind here is summarizing your Agile assessment notes. I often talk about it. When you start working with a new team, you should spend the first months evaluating the situation. This often involves attending team meetings and meeting many people in the company who are linked to your team. I have even shown you in my Instagram stories at some point the amount of notes I took from just a couple of interviews I did when I started working with a new team this past year. The goal of this is to create a presentation summarizing your observations and your improvement action plan. I usually struggle going back to all of my notes as I end up with dozens of pages and the assessment usually takes me several weeks. So honestly, I just forget things. With the help of ChatGPT, I can send it all of my notes in one big batch and ask it to make me a summary. That will kickstart my presentation and will save me a lot of time going through those notes manually. Three, facilitating conversations. Okay, the next use case is using AI to help you facilitate conversations, especially tough ones, and even help you resolve conflicts. How's that? Well, this idea actually came to me from my husband who sometimes uses ChatGPT to get an insight into different roles in the organization. For example, he may ask, I'm the CEO of this company. What keeps me up at night? Neat, right? With this simple question, ChatGPT is able to give you information about the point of view of another person, which can make it easier to then have a productive conversation with them. You would be able to address their biggest concerns and provide good ideas that align with what they think. For example, I asked ChatGPT this, as a director of engineering in a company implementing Scrum, what are my biggest concerns? And also this, I am a project manager, my company started implementing Scrum, what are my biggest pain points? This is kind of a shortened version of the empathy map, a great exercise, by the way, to do to help you empathize with another person, which is especially helpful in conflicting situations. So ChatGPT can help you reveal some essential points to bring up in a conversation with the other person. Here are a few things that it came up with to the questions that I asked it. Fourth use case is preparing an outline. This is a very specific use case that I wanted to cover here just as an example. The idea is to give you a starting point for a presentation, an agenda, or maybe even a set of questions. For example, you want to create a presentation to teach Scrum. It's hard to get started when you are staring at a blank page. Instead, you can ask ChatGPT to prepare an outline for you or highlight the key areas you should cover. I asked it to prepare a presentation on Scrum and I got a list of 19 slides that I can add with a one-line summary of four each. I looked at it and honestly, it's been pretty good in covering the most important parts of the framework. Another prompt I made was about an Agile assessment where I asked what areas I should look into. There are so many different types of Agile assessments that it may quickly get overwhelming when you're trying to choose one. With this little question to AI, you can get an outline of the main items that would make sense to evaluate and that will be a great start. And then in the same way, you can use it as an outline for your presentation. And use case number five, last but not least, is analyzing data. This one is a bigger and more complex use case, in my opinion, but one that can be essential for you. This is where I believe AI can help you understand the metrics you are collecting and even help create forecasts. Doesn't that sound awesome? For example, you may be looking at your team's velocity chart from Jira and scratching your head. What does it actually mean? How do I use this information to help the team improve? Well, you can input the data into the chart and ask for a summary of what's going on. What should you pay attention to? What concerns can be raised based on it? Another very specific use case is forecasting. In the same way, you can input the information about your team's velocity over the past several sprints 
and the work left in your product backlog and ask them to give some estimations on how much time the team needs to complete it. You may even add some extra information like the cycle time or how much work is changed in the backlog over time. The request can be as simple as the team's completed story points over the past nine sprints are 105, 55, 80, 110, 96, 69, 90, 101, 83. What is the average velocity? What is the median one? And how many story points should we take into the next sprint? You can also add to that, we have six people on our team. One of them will be on vacation next sprint. So how much work should we take into the sprint then? So here are some of the examples of what ChatGPT told me when I gave it the, this information. And I think there are some really good points that I can definitely use. The request can also be as complicated as this. The team's velocity over the past several sprints was sprint one committed 100, completed 65, sprint two committed 90, completed 70, sprint three committed 75, completed 75. The current total work in the release backlog is 245 points to do and 155 points in progress. Several new bugs are introduced into every sprint, which takes 20% of the time. There is heavy technical debt in testing automation that slows down the team and increases cycle time, but at least one day for every ticket. How many sprints will we need to complete this release backlog? I tested this and it gave me some impressive results. It gave me all of the calculations and general ideas of how it decided to think about those numbers. And in the end, what is the overall conclusion to everything that it has calculated? Though I'll tell you again, it's still an AI and it might give you some incorrect information. So take it with a grain of salt and review it thoroughly before using it especially when it comes to more of opinion pieces that might not have a clear yes or no answer. And this brings me to the very end of this video. So today we looked into how you can use AI tools such as ChatGPT to your advantage as a Scrum Master. I mean, the use cases I covered can be relevant to anyone, of course, and you definitely should use that if it's relevant to you, whether you are a Scrum Master or not. There are so many new tools that are being introduced to us every day, and it may get overwhelming really fast. And believe me, I am not jumping on every trend as soon as I see it. I still don't have TikTok on my phone. I think I'm just too old for that. But this AI tech can be quite useful, and the way I approach it is very similar to how I approach using Loom. I talked about it in the video where I talk about Loom. Obviously, if you haven't seen this, I'm going to put the link in the description. So my usage of Loom evolved over time as I found more and more ways to benefit from it. At first, I think I used it once to make a video for the Miro support team showing a bug I was experiencing. And then I just put it on the back burner. But when another similar occasion occurred, I already had the tool in mind and that allowed me to save more and more time as I saw more and more relevant use cases for it. I think it's the same with ChatGPT. Take a couple of use cases I have given you here to get started. And over time, you'll figure out how you can use the chat to your advantage. Maybe today you'll just use it to help you calculate velocity every sprint, but who knows where it can take you from there. I'm passionate about exploring new tools and that is why I've been talking a lot about that on my channel. And I hope you enjoy this type of content because I definitely do. And I hope you learn something new every time, whether I'm talking about a tool or about a Scrum Master role or about something else. I am curious to know, do you use AI tools? And if yes, how do you use them? Do you have any specific questions that you like to ask in those tools? Or maybe you're using some other AI tools that allow you to do something else. Share it in the comments below. Also, remember to subscribe and like this video. And I'll see you in the next one. Cheers and scrum on.